little fox. Fun at Kids Central. Time for tissue paper flowers. Izzy was jumping around the gym. She was pretending to be her pet frog, Gurpy. Gurp, gurp, she called. It was the second to last day of school. That meant it was also the second to last day of Kids Central. Attention, frogs and race car drivers, Miss Shelley called. We are ready to make today's craft, tissue paper flowers. Bobby pulled a dirty tissue out of his pocket. I've got a tissue right here. I just blew my nose on it. Not that kind of tissue, Bobby, Miss Shelley said. We're going to use clean wrapping tissue. She pointed to the colored tissue paper on the table. Gurp! I mean, great! Izzy said. Nina giggled. <laughs> you kids are too silly today, Miss Shelley said, shaking her head. Okay, let's make our flowers. First, fold one end of your tissue paper about three centimeters. Then flip the tissue over. Next, take the same edge you folded before and fold it three centimeters the other way. Then flip it back over and fold again. Keep repeating this until you have folded the entire tissue. Now, wrap one end of your pipe cleaner around the middle of your folded tissue, Miss Shelley said. Then carefully pull apart the folds and... You've got a pretty flower! This is easy, Izzy said. She was making a green flower. I'm going to make another one. Izzy reached for another piece of tissue paper. Attack! Bobby yelled as he jabbed Jason with his paper flower. Hey! Jason grabbed his flower and poked Bobby back. Boys, these are flowers, not swords. Miss Shelley said sharply. Miss Shelley, can you help me? I can't pull my tissue apart, Nina said. While Miss Shelley helped Nina, Izzy made three more green flowers. When she finished, she tied all of the ends of the pipe cleaners together. Then she made four more flowers and tied those ends together too. Look! Izzy called out. I'm a frog princess. She was wearing a crown of green flowers. <laughs> and you're my frog prince. She dropped another crown over Jason's head. Gurp. Jason chased Izzy around the gym. I'm not your frog prince, he yelled. Ooh, ooh. Izzy and Jason sitting in a tree. Bobby began to chant. Miss Shelley stood up. Izzy, Jason, Bobby, what is going on? Izzy and Jason stopped running. Bobby stopped chanting. They stared at Miss Shelley. We were going to go outside for our treat today. But I don't know if you three deserve it, their teacher said. She was serious. I was thinking about Gurpy, Izzy said. And I thought, what if Gurpy became a frog prince and I became a princess? So I made Jason be a frog prince. Sorry. Miss Shelley sighed. <sighs> okay, let's clean up and go outside. When it was time to go, Izzy tapped Miss Shelley on the arm. Here. She handed Miss Shelley a bunch of tissue flowers. We decided that you deserve the treat today. Gurp, said Miss Shelley. I mean, thank you, Frog Princess. 
Little Fox <laughs>